All right, guys, we are back, and thankfully no problems happened while this thing was processing, so... <sighs> Good to know. That's... that's. I'm just... <laughs> seriously, it's been a weird day. It seriously has been... No, not just today. It's been a weird three days so far, and... Uh, I just want... I just want good stuff to happen. That's all I ask. Seriously. Uh, okay. So, anyway. So, we already saved... Or, not saved up. Well, yeah, we did save. But, uh, we already healed up, and I think we are good to go. So, if it is a boss, uh, I hope we're ready for it. So, let's get going. Lord knows, I could always just use, uh, Selene as a meat shield. Could it be? Okay, that was a bit much. I'm sorry. For any cat lover. <laughs> anyway. Alright, so, he says, could it be... I wonder if he recognizes anything. He probably does. I knew it! I've been here before! Cool. Master Kafai brought me here as part of my training. Oh, okay. That's the name of your former instructor, right? Yep, his sensei. Yeah. He was the founder of the Eight Leaves One Blade School of Swordsmanship that I follow. His full name's Master Yun Ka Fai, though most just know him as the Sword Hermit. Man, when was the last time I came here? Must have been, I don't know, five years ago. In fact, if I remember right, my hometown of Ymir is only a few hours away. Ooh, nice, very nice. And because if you guys remember, um, the f his hometown was cut out from the first game because I guess it took up too much memory or it was too long in terms of like game data. I I'm not completely sure on that, but it is. But I did remember that someone um, in the comment section, I think it was Hi you, uh, High Dragon. Thankfully, you gave me the link to the drama CD, and I was able to read it on the bl on a different blog. And then, ironically enough, before this game came out on on their Trails of Cold Steel 2 website, they decided to translate the drama CD that we all missed out on and. I got the chance to read it again, so that was kind of cool. But at least in this, knowing in this game, we get to actually visit his hometown, though. So that's actually really cool to know. All right, so let's see what happens. Oh, really? Well, that's convenient. Want to head there? We might be able to get there by sundown. Sure. If we hurry, yeah. All right. As soon as we get to Ymir, I want to try and gather information on what's been going on. Uh-oh. Uh, what was that? I guess I was right. I guess it is a boss fight. Uh oh It feels like it's coming closer! No! It couldn't be. Couldn't be what? What do you know that I don't know? Uh-oh. What the heck? Whoa! Magic Knight Orthium. Okay. Wow, look at that design, though. Seriously. It's a Magic Knight! You know what that thing is? Well, she's called it what it is, so yeah. Magic golems made during the Dark Ages, and they're incredibly strong. Yeah, I don't like the look of that scimitar that he's holding. Damn, what's one doing here? I don't know. Don't ask me. Uh oh, look at like he's pissed. Ugh, we need to get out of here now. Um, he's blocking the only way we need to go. There's no point you in backtracking. Get a chance against it on your own. Well, duh. Maybe not. But that's not going to stop me from trying. Ooh, are you going to transform? Never mind. You idiot! You're still recovering! You don't stand a chance! Oh, thanks for the words of confidence. We'll see about that. All I know is that it's standing between me and everyone I care about. So if getting to them means taking this thing on, so be it! Unbelievable. Oh, shut up. At least we're trying. Oh, God. Okay, wow. We're about, are we fighting this thing? Bring it on. Okay. Oh, man. Here I go. All right. <laughs> of course, they gave me zero arts on the turn that I can't use it. Because I need to do this. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what you are, buddy. God, you're huge. All right. Magic Knight Orthium. All right. So, a magical golem. From the dark ages that awoke from some unknown cause, possesses great power. Wow. But in all seriousness, though, take a look at this guy. Like he's he's really designed well. Seriously, look at that. And it's funny because the sword, I thought it was just a blue glowing sword. If you look, at least from this angle, see? It's blue and glowing. But as you totally turn it, it's just a regular silver, broken, chipped scimitar. Still cool though. I mean, especially look at the joints. 
like the glowing joints and stuff and the he you know what he reminds me of he reminds me of that gu mobile suit from uh well from mobile suit gundam the gian i think i think that's how i pronounce it right especially the head design it was very similar that or tall geese i think at least the head looks like tall geese uh anyway so all right this might be a tough battle but let's see what we can do uh oh oh no oh no oh no ow my turn all right um that's a lot of hp and i'm gonna be i'm gonna call it i feel like this is gonna be a scripted fight but let's give it a shot so i'm actually go, gonna go ahead and oh excuse me i'm gonna go ahead and motivate myself all right, let's do this all right power boost kind of cool though that, that animation was slightly different from the last game if that makes any sense i mean same animation but um it just feels different if that makes again go. any sense let's attack all right we scratched him. Uh oh, whoa! Interesting move there. Let's move. Let's right, strike it again. All right, cool. All right, I'm gonna motivate myself again, and then I'm going to uh, use an S craft on him. All right, max out strength. Good. Oh no, not again. Jeez. Here I go. All right, um, it's risky, but I'm gonna go for it. So, S craft. Here we go. Flame slash. Gather on my blade. Ah! Awesome. And how much damage do we do? Ooh, not too bad. Oh crap. Ow. All right. I guess at this point, all we can do is just wail on him. My turn. Here we go. All right, cool. Here I go. Keep on slashing. Oh, grand crack again. Oh, nice. Good dodge. Surprisingly. Counter. Good job, Reen. Let's move. All right, keep on slashing. Wow, I think he, he's actually almost dead. That's really surprising. Oh no. No, no, no. Oh, my Sepeth, how dare you? Oh. All right, let's attack again. Oh no. Uh, I wonder if I should use a healing item. I'm not done yet. You know what? I'm I'm gonna risk it. I don't think he, he I think this this is a scripted fight, so let's just keep going. Come on. I won't give up. Alright, one more hit. Alright, come on. Ooh, good dodge. Good dodge. Alright. Awesome. Oh, okay, it was a scripted fight. I guess we had to get him down to a certain health. Cool. And we didn't die. That's the even better part. And I think I pissed him off even more. Great. <laughs> My attacks are barely putting a dent into it. Yeah, it is it is a mystical, you know, mock machine monster thing. Uh give me one quick second, guys. I just want to double check one thing. Okay, sorry. I just had to do one more check on my software just to make sure it's still properly recording this action pack scene. Alright, here we go. Oh. I guess he was still injured. We're so close to Ymir, too. I told you this would happen. Oh, no. Get back! Oh, a barrier. Oh, God! No, Celine! Celine! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. I can't lose. Not here. Not without seeing everyone again. Ah, Lisa. <laughs> Alisa. Not today, buddy. Whoa, who's that? Oh. Are those our yeah, but we're See you later. Cross Crusade! Cool. I haven't seen that uh, spell in a long time. Alright, good job, whoever did that. Whoa. Oh, wow, how lucky. <laughs> how lucky can you be? Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Mr. Gundam Wannabe. Very nice. Are we... Safe? I would assume so. Who did that? Reen! Reen! 
I recognize those voices. <gasps> Aha, there they are. Oh, and that was Tovel? Really? Whew. Made it without a second to spare. Huh. No offense to the voice actor, but I really was not expecting his voice to sound like that, to be quite honest. No hate, just really unexpected, really. Huh. Okay, well anyway, moving on. Good to see you're still in one piece. I'm so glad we hurried. I don't want to even imagine what could have happened if we weren't in time. Yeah, I'd probably be a pancake by now. You aren't hurt, are you? No, just a flesh wound. Your Highness, and Toval. Toval, yeah. And Green, stay right there. Please tell me you're all right. You look so exhausted. Who's she? Elise, it's really you. I feel like I'm dreaming. I never would have expected you to come all the way out here. Green, please! There's no need to speak right now. Save your strength. We'll take you back to Ymir just as soon as we've seen to your injuries. Yeah, definitely take a look at those injuries. <laughs> I'm just so glad you're alright. But how did you know I was here? And he's down for the count. That's bad. Okay. As the consciousness began to fade, I heard a distinct voice resound at the back of my mind. A voice with all the gravity of steel, and yet a strange sense of familiarity, of warmth. Oh, really? And as I listened, I could feel myself being beckoned towards the Wheel of Fortune. The show? I'm just joking. <laughs> Dost thou desire the power? Sure. Yes, I desire it. Alright, so what happens next? Oh, okay, here we go. Awesome, look at that visual. Okay, so that was green, and this one's crows, I believe. Very nice. So, fire against water, huh? <laughs> Opposing elements, I guess. Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel 2. Alright, Shereen Schwarzer. I guess they're going to list all the characters. Alright, Alisa Rainford. Cool. Laura S.R. Seed and Elliot Craig. Machias Regnitz and Emma Milstein. Cool. I like their outfits. Fee, Clausel, and Yusus Alberea. Man, these new designs are really cool. Alright, Gaius Warzel and Milliam Orion. Oh, great, Milliam. I almost forgot about her. Alright, Claire Rivelt, Tovo Randier, and Sarah Valstein. Alright, Angelica Rogner, Toa Herschel, and George Nam. I know I said uh, Tovo's last name wrong, so i sorry about that. <laughs> Alright, uh, next is Elise Schwarzer, Alfin Reyes Anor, Oliver Reyes Anor, Victor S. Arseed, and Sharon Kruger. Cool. Celine and Valimar. All okay, right. Who else is there? I guess that's the hero cast, and now we're going to introduce the villains. <laughs> All right, let's see. Yep, Crow Ambrust. Ambrust, sorry. Who else? Vita Coitilde, okay. Duvali and Blue Blanc. Huh, I guess Duvali must be a new character. Uh, Leonidas and Zeno. All right. The Turks rejects. <laughs> McBurn. Huh. He looks like Grell from Black Butler. Alright, Altina Orion and Lecter Arundel. Okay, so I guess Lecter's a villain now? Alright, Rufus Alborea. Okay, that was unexpected. And Duke Cayenne. Okay. Alright, no joke. I really thought... I didn't think uh, Rufus was going to be a bad guy. I know he... I know from the first game he rode the limousine with... Cayenne, but I guess this kind of confirms he's a bad guy? I guess we'll have to wait and see, but that's so odd. And unexpected, at least in my opinion. Of course, there must have been su subtle hits that I missed then. 
All right, November 30th, Tuesday. All right, uh, I'm going to double check my thing just in case. All right, please, no problems. Please, no problems. <sighs> okay, no problem. Sorry, I'm just, I, I am actually on a different input at the moment. And come on, go back to normal. Uh, hang on, guys. Sorry. I'm, I'm not going to hit X yet. I just want to make sure everything's recording properly. Come on. Come on. All right. I think it's okay. Let me hit X. All right. So far, so good, I think. Where am I now? Well, you, clearly you're in a house. <laughs> All right. Hold on one second. Sorry. Let me check one more time. Just to make sure. Okay. Okay, we're good. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't mean to keep stalling. I'm not doing it on purpose. Okay, and... Oh, I guess she's okay. Well, I guess that's one of her nine lives gone. <laughs> so it's just like my room. I think it is your room. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. I knew it. I'm back in Ymir. Nice. All right, you're back home. Safe and sound, I guess. I'm finally back home. My memories are kind of hazy now, but I think that means everything that happened in the mountains. <sighs> Why'd it get so cold all of a sudden? Oh, you finally woke up? Yeah, just a second ago. How about you? Feeling better after a catnap? Hmm, I guess. Don't you hoof me. I slept more than I meant to, actually. You're awake. All right, here we go. Elise Schwarzer. Nice to see her again, too. Elise. Um, good morning. Actually, it's probably closer to noon now, isn't it? Elise? Oh, yes, the loving embrace of the younger sister to her older brother. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy that you're awake. You don't know how scared I was. There was all the chaos in the capital, and then we lost all contact with you. We had no idea where you were. I'm just so, so relieved. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for worrying you so much, Elise. <laughs> no. No, you don't need to apologize. I knew that somewhere out there you were alright, and that you'd come back safe. Welcome home, Reen. Yay. It's good to be back. And thanks. <laughs> I see our two little lovebirds are as twitter-pated as ever. Oh, great. <laughs> Pardon? Good morning, Reen. And to you as well, Elise. Hey there. Just swinging by to see how you're holding up. <laughs> I still can't get over the fact that that's his voice. Again, it's not bad. It just sounds so weird. You're here too, your highness? I'm really not dreaming then. All right. Alfin Ray's Ar Arnor. Oh, you're so silly, Reen. I would have thought the warmth of your dear sister pressed against your chest was proof enough of that. Hey, we're we're gonna save that for the Doujinji writers, okay? <laughs> save the material for later. Y your Highness, please. <laughs> All right, and Toval. Uh, I'm gonna say Ren. Well, I'm just glad you're up. Randonor. I hope I pronounced that right. How are you feeling? Still sore? You've been fast asleep since we brought you back here yesterday. I don't have any serious injuries, at least. But I doubt I'd be able to say that if you hadn't come when you did. Thanks, Toval. I suppose I owe you my thanks, too. That art of yours didn't come a moment too soon. Oh, yeah, anything will usually get destroyed after a cross crusade. <laughs> <laughs> You're both very welcome. I just didn't want to give these two young ladies anything to cry about. 
Aww. Yeah, aren't you the ladies' man? Alright, I see you're finally up. Ooh, who's this? The butler or something? Dad! Mom! Wow! Cool, so these are his parents. Really nice. I like the designs. <laughs> Alright, kind woman. <laughs> Hello, Reen. It's wonderful to see you back home. I imagine you have plenty of questions running through your mind, but first and foremost is getting you something to eat. Mature man said. <laughs> we can discuss what to do from here on af out after that. Cool, so those are, those are his parents, huh? Nice. Design-wise, they look good. <laughs> Alright, so I'm guessing this is the town of Ymir. Okay, yep, Ymir. The Hot Springs Paradise. Okay. I'm assuming that's the hot spring <laughs> in the middle. Okay. I'm assuming that's his house. Alright, so what happens now? I'm actually curious. Oh, okay, as we're all eating. <laughs> okay, so this is Lady Lucia Schwarzer. Okay, so that's his mom. And this is Baron... Uh, is it Tio? Tio Schwarzer. Okay. It's been a month now since... Uh, excuse me. It's been a month now since that so-called Noble Alliance occupied Heimdar. At present, they have effectively all of the... Effectively, right? Yeah, sorry, I thought it was efficiently. I don't know. Uh, at present, they have effectively all of the nation's major cities under their control. Uh, the Imperial Army tried what they could to stop their advances, but the majority of their forces have already been defeated. I had a feeling that would be the case. If nothing else, at least you two are safe. We were at St. Ast I think it's Astrea, right? We were at St. Astrea when the capital was occupied, so we were caught up in the chaos, too. It was only thanks to to Toval, not Toval, sorry, Toval appearing and rescuing us that we're sitting here now. What were you doing there, Toval? Toval, sorry. I got an urgent request to ex escort Her Highness and Miss Elise to safety. As soon as I got that, I booked it there as fast as I could. I never turned on a personal request from Prince Oliver, you know. How is he doing? Huh, Prince Oliver asked you. Well, that explains it. He kindly escorted us out of the capital, successfully evading the Noble Alliance's attempts to pursue us. And roughly ten days later, we were able to reach Ymir. I'm just so glad that you just made it here safely. Alright, uh, sorry guys, let me do one more check. Okay, sorry about that guys, I really hate doing that, but it's just because today's been really, really stressful. <laughs> Alright, so, I'm just so glad that you made it here safely. Unfortunately, it appears His Majesty the Emperor and Crown Prince Cedric fell into the Alliance's hands. The official story is that both of them have been taken into protective custody, so they're both rumored to be safe. However, Prince Oliver's whereabouts currently remain unknown. That's bad. There's not even a confirmation that he's safe somewhere? That's more than a little worrying. You needn't be so concerned. I'm sure he's perfectly well. He made it through the chaos in Liberal last year unharmed, as you know. He's always been a resilient one. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm assuming that's a reference to another game. As for Cedric, father and mother, I'd like to believe they're all right too. I'm... I'm sure they are, your highness. I'm worried about the Imperial family as much as anyone, but if you don't mind me interjecting... Reen, I imagine you're probably most concerned about what happened to Trista and Thors. Oh yeah, me too. Seriously, what's going on there? Luckily for you, we've managed to get some info on that front. Please, tell me everything you know. What's happening over at the Academy? Is everyone alright? Alright, so we had to see what happens then. I don't think this will come as much of a shock to you, but... Both Trista and Thors Military Academy are completely under the Noble Alliance Force's control now. They were both taken over not long after the war began. No. Dang, so everyone lost, I guess? Alright, uh, Reen? No matter how much I thought about it, I didn't want to believe it was true. What about the students and our instructors? Honestly, I wish I had more I could tell you. There's rumors that they resisted being occupied as long as they could, but not much more than that. Try not to let concern get the best of you. 
It's too early to presume the worst has happened. Yeah, I'm with Ward Schwartzer here. On the contrary, some rumors would even suggest the opposite. What rumors? Word has it that a number of students and staff are unaccounted for. Ooh, okay, that's good news, I guess. And the Noble Alliance is still trying to find them. Then that means... Have some of them managed to escape? Well, rumors are rumors. Still, your classmates and Sarah have more than gotten their feet wet at this point. And I can't see them being taken down easily. The, the odds sound pretty good if you ask me. What say you? <laughs> what else can I say? I would have to agree. Celine? I couldn't tell you where she is right now. But Emma's still alive. That's guaranteed. You can tell? I'm her familiar, so we've got a link of some kind between us. If anything were to happen to her, trust me, I know about it. All I know is that she's alive, though. Nothing else. How peculiar. Anyway, there's no point in assuming the worst when there's every chance that it hasn't happened. So try keeping the faith, alright? Think of it this way. They're probably just as worried about you as you are for them. And yet here you are, safe and sound. You've... Got a point, actually. Safe and sound you may very well be, but you're hardly in peak condition. Take this chance to stay home for a time and recover your strength. And while you're here, why not go pay everyone a visit? The whole village has been eagerly awaiting your recovery. That's true. I think they'll, be, they'll all be delighted to see you. And, um, if you'd like, I'd be happy to accompany you. <laughs> oh, Elise. Alright, thank, thanks for the concern, Elise, but I'll be fine on my own. Honest. That sounds like a good idea, Mom. I think I'll do just that. Okay. So what happens now, though? Alright, here we go. Prologue. The Depths of Despair. Alright. <laughs> wow, alright, I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> alright, so I guess I hit X. Okay. Uh, it looks like Elise and Princess Alfin have already gone out. Okay, so that's some good news, I guess. Hmm. So, I guess this means we get to explore. Nice. Like Mom said, it might not be a bad idea to follow suit. This could be a good chance to walk around the village and collect myself a bit. See? Alright, cool. So we get to finally explore Ymir. Alright, hold on. Oh, more tutorials. Alright, event markers. Occasionally, you will see event markers displayed on characters and places. These show that an event will take place there. Alright, so that's on the field screen, the minimap screen, and expanded minimap screen. Alright, so pretty standard stuff that we remember from the last game. So red means key events, so those advance the story, while green ones are side quests and optional quests. They're not mandatory, but if you do them, you get lots of goodies, either XP, items, and whatnot. So they're definitely, we're def are obviously going to do those first, no matter what. Alright, Ymir's town map can now be accessed by pressing the square button. The time map allows you to confirm the present location of both important characters and objectives. Okay, cool. So I guess now we have control of Reen. Uh, let's hit the square button, actually. Alright, wow. So we have multiple locations to go to. Um, oh, I can hide icons. <laughs> Alright, cool. So, um, yeah, I guess what we're gonna, we're gonna do, though. However, unfortunately, we are actually out of time for today, guys. Ooh, I'm evil. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm joking. Joking aside, though, def I am actually out of time for today, guys. Seriously. Um, but definitely we will explore the town of Ymir for next time. At least that way we can have a full session of just being able to look around without any interruptions. And hopefully next time will be, well, no problems. So here we go. We're going to save over the first one, like usual. And then next time, I'll probably save on the second one and then just move on with, move on forward, if you get my drift. But like usual, guys, if you guys enjoyed these, I think, four, yeah, four videos for today, please hit the like button on all four. That'd be awesome, helpful, like usual. Get people aware that I am playing this game again, <laughs> so to say. And we'll go from there, guys. I'm really excited to see what's going to happen now further on to the game. So like I said, next time we'll be, we're going to explore his hometown of Ymir for Reen. All right, guys. So until then, this is Anime Free Chaos, and I will see you all next time. Take care, everybody.